It's destroyed everything in its path. Puerto Rico in total darkness after Hurricane Maria knocks out 100% of the island's power while nearly two feet of rain turns roads into rivers of mud. The entire island of Puerto Rico is without power after Hurricane Maria swept through the U.S. territory today. Maria made landfall on Puerto Rico Wednesday morning as a cat. Four hurricane with 155 miles per hour winds. As of 5 p.m. E.R., the eye of the storm has moved offshore and weakened to a cat. Three storm with 110 miles per hour winds. The storm is next headed to the Dominican Republic, where it's expected to strike tonight. The Turks and Caicos Islands and the southeastern Bahamas will see hurricane conditions Thursday evening. Before hitting Puerto Rico, Maria battered St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands for about five hours overnight. So far, Maria has been blamed for nine deaths, seven on Dominica and two on Guadeloupe. All of Puerto Rico has lost power after deadly Hurricane Maria swept through the island on Wednesday, with winds that blew the roofs off homes and flash floods that turned roads into rivers. Leaving at least nine people dead in its wake across the Caribbean, Hurricane Maria blew ashore in the morning in the southeast coastal town of Yabucoa as a Category 4 storm with winds of 155 miles per hour. While the eye of the storm has since moved off the island and weakened to a Category 3 hurricane, it's expected to continue lashing the island of 3.4 million with life-threatening winds, storm surge and rain through this evening. Once we're able to go outside, we're going to find our island destroyed, said Abner Gomez Puerto Rico's emergency management director. The information we have received is not encouraging. It's a system that has destroyed everything in its path. As people waited it out in shelters or took cover inside stairwells, bathrooms and closets, Maria, the strongest storm to hit the island since the Great Depression, brought down cell towers and power lines, snapped trees and unloaded at least 20 inches of rain. Widespread flooding was reported with dozens of cars half-submerged in some neighborhoods and many streets turned into rivers. People calling local radio stations reported that doors were being torn off their hinges and a water tank flew away. Even before the storm, Puerto Rico's electrical grid was crumbling and the island was in dire condition financially. Puerto Rico is struggling to restructure a portion of its $73 billion debt and the government has warned it is running out of money as it fights back against furloughs and other austerity measures imposed by a federal board overseeing the island's finances. Governor Ricardo Rossello urged people to have faith, we are stronger than any hurricane. Together, we will rebuild. He later asked President Donald Trump to declare the island a disaster zone, a step that would open the way to federal aid. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.